Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic and we are here just at the wall on Droman Cars. We're looking to get our second bounty target who is a member of the Sith Order and working under the renegade Sith Lord, Lord Graffin. So, let's get ourselves underway. Just as we were ending the last part, we actually had the daily uh, update. So we actually received, uh, let me find out, let me check this, uh, Galactic Seasons. So we got our level 1 and level 2 claim. Do I just click? Yes, I do just click down, it turns up. Okay. Huh, handy. We also got our elegant chest of loyalty and, of course, two... Uh, QR drive yard construction kits. So, what's this? Contains access to the Alliance Alert, the Shadow of the Underworld. So we can summon a... Looks like we're summoning someone from the Shadow Syndicate. Okay, we get a new mount. Curious. I'll unlock it, thank you very much. And then, of course, we have this chest of loyalty which contains medals of commendation, legendary embers, and a personal conquest requisition. Okay, that's quite a few medals of commendation. Legendary embers, which can be you can be purchased for tech fragments. Okay, it's a component, and this requisition just gives you a hundred thousand conquest points immediately. Huh. Okay. Sure. Why not? I'll take it. Uh, this instance is rather busy. Tell you what, we'll just jump over to instance five of all things. And now we'll go assault Lord Graffin's estate. I don't know if this will be any quieter, of course, but give it a go. Hold your position, please, and keep your weapon holstered. The remotes are scanning you now. You check out. Sorry if I was brusque. We're on the lookout for anyone with Lord Grathen, and I'm sick of letting him stomp on my people. Most people who tell me to keep my weapons holstered don't last long. Neither do bounty hunters who shoot Imperial captains. Look, stick around a minute. I don't know if you're familiar with the situation, but Grathen's a nightmare. The Sith Lord's gone rogue. He's holed up in his estate past the wall. He's got weapons, shields, and a cadre of scientists developing new tech to use against us. Grathen wants respect and authority from the Dark Council, so in true Sith fashion, he turned on his masters to prove his power. As a result, we have to put up with this lunacy. So if you're here to cause Grathen problems anyway, you might help us out. Are you saying you're hiring? Depends. Are you any good? Here's the story. There are nearly a hundred men assigned to this sector, some on the wall, some watching Grathen. Twenty are missing. My men. Practically my kids. Grathen stole them, and I want them back. Where do I come in? I don't know what Lord Grathen wants with them. Maybe he's holding them hostage just to demoralize us. Who knows? But if you're heading to Grathen's grounds, help them get out. Tell them to report back to their Duchess. That's, um, what they call me. Duchess? You'll have to explain that. You try making it as an officer without getting tagged with a nickname. I've got reports saying that Grathen's been transporting prisoners to another wing of his estate. I don't know if it's my people he's moving, but it's worth checking out. Watch yourself. Grathen doesn't mess around. Okay. Look for Captain Sarnova's missing troops. Uh, anything of interest here? Introductions to war zones. No, that's fine. Grat 
Nathan's estate should be just over this bridge. We don't want to get trapped there. Everything I've dug up about Grafton is seriously disturbing, even for a Sith. Shh! I have to be very careful. Lord Grafton's eyes are everywhere. He's suspicious of all strangers. He must be blind to our doings. Just poke his eyes out, then he'll really be blind. But not possible. Lord Grafton's a Sith. Probably kill me first. Ooh, old joke. I get it. <laughs> Funny. But Lord Grafton's no laughing matter. Grafton's trouble, see? Big trouble. Mad scientist type. Likes weapons, cyborgs, droids, ergonomic chairs. My mission's to keep an eye on him. Watch for anything suspicious. But I don't know what you're doing here. I have business with a rogue lord. Business, eh? Like killing business, I suspect. You got a glint in your eye, like maybe you're not paying a friendly visit. See, my orders are to keep my distance and not enter Lord Grafton's place or cause any kind of ruckus. But I'm supposed to see about a certain prototype turret design the rogue lord supposedly acquired. Empire wants it for mass production. Where do I come in? Lord Grafton's got the turrets hidden inside somewheres. I'd go looking for them myself, but orders are orders. I have to stay put. Since you're going in, you could maybe poke around and see if you can't find the plans to those turrets. I need money up front. You'll get your pay when you do the job. The thing is, you never get past the turrets unless you take out a guard and get a security badge. The security badge transmits a signal that tells the turrets the badge holder is friendly. So the op is... Get a security badge off a guard, find those turrets, and grab the plans. Easy, right? I'll be keeping an eye out here, right where you found me. Okay, fairly straightforward. So, Mask of Revan, prototype turret design, Lord Graffin's Sith Lord target, do, 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 missing soldiers. That's about it. Okay, good. One bonus we're working on right now, a staged bonus mission as well, to defeat 15 of Graffin's forces. Oh, Mako, we switch you back over to uh, dealing damage now. Someone should have a security badge for me. Nope. We have a little object on Graffin's forces here. I think maybe one of the guardsmen. The stage one bonus mission complete. Stage two to defeat 30 more of Graffin's forces. There's the security badge, giving us access to the weapons lab. Okay, 
Okay, so far so good. Let's... So this is a manufacturing plant. There's a bunch of experimental droids around here, and a bunch of scientists. Oh, hello. Thank you. We had some uh, Shadow Syndicate plans. What's that? Authorization. Authorization. System cannot identify. Please don't go. Please don't go. What's happening? Are you with Lord Clathen? Are you invading? System cannot identify. I'm here for the people Grathen kidnapped. I... I am... I am a soldier. I am a... System cannot stop. Reassigning priorities. Operating number 2188697. Oh, Please. Did the Duchess send you? Please help me. What happened to you? Grathen's people took us prisoner for experiments. The scientists cut open our heads, put us in droids. Identification model OHK-99. They program us for advanced intelligence. Enhanced combat tactics. Now my body's lying dead across the room. I can see it. Are the rest of the soldiers still alive? I'm the last. The others have all been converted. They can't talk, can't disobey. But I know they can still think, feel. Please listen. You could disable us all. Send the shutdown command from our central command console. Please. You could put an end to this. Use the command console. I can't go with you, motor and combat systems non-functional. Please make it stop hurting. Unfortunate. Please access the control console. Please go quickly. So, we found the missing soldiers. Graffin's uh, scientists have been uh, <sighs> up to some rather immoral experiments. Using this console, we can disable the experimental droids or send them back to the Empire. Oh, hello. gift there. Hopefully we still get paid for the job. Oh, 
two more enemies to deal with and I'll be the third sorry the second stage of the bonus mission complete might as well deal with the enemies just around here And stage three is to activate the experimental warbot, defeat it, and take its data core. Trouble on the way. Exploration mission here. Yes, a violent intruder laying waste to Lord Graffen's compound. I applaud you. I'm Ismar Bringle, one of Lord Graffen's indentured scientists. I'd like to make your destruction of this place highly profitable. You've got my attention. Good. We're natural allies, believe it or not. Three years ago, Lord Grafton lured me to work for him. He promised great opportunities and exciting fields of study. Instead, I became a prisoner, slaving on freakish creations Grafton uses to advance himself. It's a thankless existence. What's going on here? Please don't ask me to describe the horrors Grafton demanded I develop for him. The work sickens me. Grafton cybernetics researchers, a sadistic bunch of scum, developed cyborg body parts that regenerate. The technology will revolutionize warfare. It's worth a fortune. I have a buyer looking to manufacture a cyborg army. You'll get 60% of my profits if you steal the cybernetic researchers' files. This better be worth it. You won't get shortchanged, I promise. There is a catch, of course. You'll have to activate the main console by sending override commands from the remote terminals. Grafen protects his computers with lethal security forces. War droids, cyborgs, even genetically engineered weapons. Expect heavy resistance. I live for that kind of trouble. Must be exhilarating. As long as trouble doesn't kill you. Take this data spike. Insert it into the main console at Grafen's central lab. The spike will download all the data we need. When you're done, bring me the spike. I'll arrange its sale and transfer credit to your account. Go now, be swift. Okay. Sounds like a good deal. Some sort of illegal or black market cybernetic technology. So we need, let's see. Oh, some of our missions aren't on the list. Let's turn that one off for the moment. Turn that one off for the moment. So we need to locate three remote terminals.
And these terminals will get us access to the central lab. Hi. Uh-oh. friends. The terminal is just up here. into the central lab and find a console so we can download the schematics of this technology. not steal that precious data, I implore you. Were I not locked in Grathen's science dormitory, I'd face you in person. I can only hope the passion of my plea convinces you. I'm Lana Tadrogue, lead researcher of Lord Grathen's cybernetics division. That data you're stealing is my life's work. Just get to the point. I realize you have no reason to indulge me. Thank you for the chance to defend my creation. I'm the creator of Project ARC, Automatic Regenerating Cybernetics. I have developed mechanical body parts that grow and heal like actual flesh and bone. Making better soldiers is an obvious application, but my dream is to give these lifelike replacement limbs to the victims of war. Why do you inventor types always overthink things? It's a hazard of being intelligent, but it doesn't change the fact I'm right. Lord Grathen encrypted my research notes to prevent duplication, but that data spike will download everything and erase the original. You're taking the only copy. Please don't steal that data. Allow me to continue healing the sick. I was promised a lot of credits for this, and I plan to collect.
I hope you can live with the knowledge you failed to make the galaxy a better place. Enjoy your filthy credits, thief. Credits always make my galaxy a better place. I'm surrounded by scoundrels and profiteers. I pity you, really. Good day. I'm sure you could go back and, well, redevelop the research. May take you a bit longer. Oh, bloody hell, we're making more friends. Sounds of battle echoing through the compound was like music. Made me want to dance. Well, don't leave me in suspense. Did you download the cybernetics data? Are we going to be rich? Very, very rich, I hope. Finally! Oh, I've waited so long for this moment. Everything is in place. I'll send the data spike to my contacts so they can extract and verify the data. It'll be raining credits before you know it. I'm so grateful you crossed my path. You've made my dreams come true. Enjoy your dreams while they last. Oh, I intend to. You will be paid as soon as my contacts authenticate the data. It shouldn't take long. Okay. We got very few credits, so hopefully more credits are coming in the mail. Level 25. Right, we have another path, which we may take before long, but for now, let us gain access to Graffin's estate, shall we? We're looking for any estate overlords as well. Down this way is where the secure vault happens to be. I wouldn't touch anything if I were you. There's no telling what security Graffin has on this stuff, or how dangerous they are without them. Well, you know what we're looking for. Well, I'm not scared of you. 
scared of you. So much for not setting off an alarm. Yes, yes, Mako, I know. You told me so. Right. Map. So this is one of the weapon testing labs. Controlling these turrets? I'm ashamed to say yes, but not by choice, I assure you. I'm programmed to understand over 100 languages and dialects, and in not one is the phrase on fire positive when referring to a person. Why, of all droids, I was chosen to maintain these awful things and protect their schematics, I will never understand. Oh, if only I didn't have this terrible restraining bolt restricting my actions. I'd destroy the plans to those turrets in an instant. Wait, you have the plans to these things? The turret schematics are stored within my databanks. If the restraining bolt was removed, I could delete them, ensuring that no more turrets could be built. It's the next best thing to disabling the turrets themselves. If you value organic life, you will remove my restraining bolt and let me destroy the schematics once and for all. I'm downloading the plans for the Imperials. If you're insistent on it, there's nothing I can do. After all, I'm not programmed for combat. If it were up to me, organic species would not be allowed to do such horrible things to each other. We just pretend our enemies are droids. Oh my, I think if I had a stomach, I would be sick right now. <laughs> okay, turret schematics are in our possession. Let's go find our target, shall we? I think her name was Veretta. Thought I'd be a pushover, huh? Okay, these overlords are also Sif. Kind of makes sense, I suppose. He's up! Thank you, Mako. Okay, there's some of the other bounty targets claimed. Oh, what have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grathen's spy said my father contacted the Mandalorian Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real live Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. What does it matter who kills you? A woman has to have standards. Wait, you don't seriously think you can kill me? I mean, I'm a Sith and you're just... whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. Then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? 
Apparently my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. Why don't we test that theory? Wonderful. I love that line. Ooh, bloody hell. to some common bounty hunter. Everything Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. I feel for you, girl. Close your eyes now. I just can't believe it. Sifor, rather arrogant until you uh, knocked them down a few pegs. Okay, our time here in Graffin's estate has come to a close. Let's just pull out all our quests again. Um, do, 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 do. Where are my heroic missions? Huh. Those heroics have disappeared. Let's see, let me have a think. I think I can pick up both heroic missions from a couple of NPCs. Yeah, it's fine that they've disappeared from my list. Okay, let's get ourselves back. No, actually, let's not get ourselves back over to the wall. I was going to quick travel. Let's fight our way out of here. We could quick travel back to the wall where there's a few quests we can turn in. But since we need to get to the Revenate compound... There is a route we can take. A somewhat, somewhat scenic route. Level 27. Hmm. Do we have her body? Mm, no. Out and along this way. Taking a small jungle path. Oh, what's that over there? A ah, security chest. Guarded by a Graphen Inquisitor. on here. <laughs> we have a rather large vine cat. See, where is Mako? I think she's stuck behind that wall. Ah, 
onion gift. Yeah, and this is the uh, cave dedicated to Dolph Revan. Some people in their rather curious naming conventions. The Asda Kettle. The Emperor? He looks kind of cozy, but why build a monument all the way out here? Hmm, who do we want to give the mask to? Tarun did promise that our initiation would still go smoothly if we handed it over to him. Hmm. By the stars, you made it back. Did you find the Mask of Revan? Tell me you didn't let Ladra have it. She is mad. And you know it. I decided to bring the mask to you. You have it? That's wonderful. So that... That really is the mask of Darth Revan? Didn't think it would look so real somehow. I went through a lot to retrieve this for you. And the results are absolutely worthwhile. Allow me. I can almost feel Revan's power. It's dark power. Understandable that Ladra was so obsessed with it. But then that's exactly why the rest of the Order doesn't need to see it. The darkness was a part of Revan, but only a part. You know what I'm here for. I'll tell the others here that you completed the trial of the past. No one will argue. You're not a Revanite yet, but you're one step closer. Now I have some explanations to make to Ladra. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, she'll probably just kill you and take the mask anyway. And... hello. Guess you're the next teacher on the various Revenite trials. More initiates. Hmm. The compound's getting less secure all the time. Still, I suppose the master knows what he's doing. And if you can follow the ways of Revan, we'll judge your worth. What ways are you talking about? Revan didn't work alone. Revan had allies, all walks of life. We're no different. You want to join us? You need to face the men and women who got here first and who've proved that they're loyal to the master. What do you got in mind? You need to show those in the Master's inner circle that you understand Revan's teachings. They'll ask questions. You'll answer. If they're not satisfied, they'll abandon the test of wisdom and begin your test of strength. Revan didn't suffer the weak. Just point me in the direction of the action. Your pilgrimage starts in the jungle. You'll find your first guide there. He'll determine whether you're worth sending on to the rest. Be ready for anything, Initiate. The jungle's dangerous, and so are the true Revanites. Okay, this is the Trial of Wisdom. If we screw up, we'll get the Trial of Strength instead. First of the Revenite in a circle. So, you have come. You who would join the Order of Revan. I am Moron Dokas, Lord of Beasts. I am Revenite, and I am Sith. What do you say to me? What do you expect me to say? I'm very impressed. I do not need your praise, Initiate. For decades, I have served the Master. 
He found me when I was a lava and saw that I was strong in the Force. Against the Empire's traditions, he trained me. This is the way of Revan, to teach all species the path to power. Sith philosophy isn't any of my business. It is something you must consider if you are to be a Revanite. It will shape you, change you. Now you will answer a question. And you will answer well, or face the claws of my pets. Why do you think Revan trained aliens in the ways of the Sith? Why did Revan offer power to all Seekers? Revan knew that servants are more useful when they're powerful. You answer well. You answer wisely. You speak like a true Revanite. You may proceed on your pilgrimage and seek worth in the eyes of another. Who should I be looking for? A Revanite. A great warrior and a favored student of the Master. Seek the mercenary called Setafar as she teaches her soldiers. Then shall your trial continue. Okay. I... I think I recall all of the correct answers in this trial of wisdom, but I may or may not select them if it feels appropriate to the character. I'm trying to go with answers that um, I feel like Visor would actually say. Bonus to defeat 12 of the jungle beasts. section section where uh, Hadra's been digging up her various relics or had her apprentice doing so at the very least Okay, Mandalorians. Talking. Have some of the men head into the city. They've earned a break from training. Yes, Commander. It's good to see you alive. Not everyone makes it past Morin. Raymond contacted me from the base. Said you wanted to join our society. Is it true? Who wants to know? I'm called Setafar. I teach these mercenaries how to fight. My service to the Master is a matter of honor. Centuries ago, my clan fought Revan when we invaded the Republic with the rest of the Mandalorians. 
It was our privilege to battle Jedi. We lost the war over Malkor V, but that was a privilege too. It's out of respect for Revan that I agreed to join the Master. Not sure I followed that. Mandalorians honor their foes. We respect a hard-earned victory. I serve the order to ensure Revan's name isn't forgotten. Revan was a warrior, a leader, and deserves to be remembered. Since you're not bound by honor, how do I know you won't sully the Dark Lord's memory? What can you do for the Order in Revan's name? Revan's long dead. There's nothing left to honor. Is that so? Fine. You want to say garbage like that? You can prove you're worth my time. I sent out a squad of clansmen to hunt the local wildlife. Their camp's nearby. Defeat them, or get yourself killed. And don't worry. Talking here will make sure they know you're coming. Yes, Commander. <laughs> that wasn't the right answer. But I would rather have a bit of a tussle with the Mandalorians anyway. This is the kind of uh, training she's giving them. I'm not impressed. Huh? Well, we just need to defeat ten of them, and that's the job done. The camp is larger, but I don't think there's any reason to go deeper into the Mandalorian's camp. Revan earned the respect of my grandfathers and grandmothers by defeating them in battle. Now you've earned mine. You're not Revan. Not yet, at least. But you're something. You've got my approval to join the Order. You flatter me. You'll need to talk to one more person before you head back to the compound. Find Major Pathel. He oversees security on the wall. Heading that way now. Glory to Mandalore. And glory to our master. Okay. So we have one more trial to overcome. Over. There's nothing to trouble us here, and we can speak freely. I'm Major Pathel, at your service. It's always wonderful to meet new initiates. The Order of Revan needs all the dedicated young people it can get. Well met and all that. I don't know how your other meetings went, but I like to conduct these interviews informally. No point making your life difficult, eh? Quite a few initiates, young officers, acolytes and the like, think our secret society will help them become morphs or dark lords. You're not like that, I presume? I'm a free agent. Not much you could do for me. No, maybe not. Needn't have worried, I suppose. Not every initiate realizes that advancement in the Revanites does not guarantee advancement in the Empire, nor how dangerous being a Revanite really is. The Dark Council seeks to root us out. So, how do we respond? How do we answer the Empire's accusations of heresy? We respond by destroying our foes. Any who speak against us will fall. Uh, I was afraid you might say that. Alas, I'm a patriot, and I'm not interested in turning the Revanites against the Empire. This is Major Pathel to all security droids. We have a threat on the wall. Please eliminate. There. If you survive that, perhaps I'll reconsider my decision. Oh! 
Hi. Just had to put my mind to it. It's a good thing some of my armor is explosive, explosive, explosive proof. Bloody hell! Stumbling over my own words. Nice job. Well, I have to say, I didn't think you were capable of so much destruction. You've got some rough edges and, and, and some misconceptions, but also potential to be of real value to the Order. I appreciate you saying so, Major. That's all I needed to make my judgment. I'm going to send a message to the compound. Raymond will be waiting for you. Does this mean my trial's done? Well, that's not for me to say, but I have a good feeling about you. Journey safely, and be proud to be a part of the Order of Revan. Yay. Okay. Uh, since we're here, we might as well turn in the quests so and we don't need to come back. There's the data core. Let's go see Captain Bryn. Take it you have the plans to the turrets, then? Can't wait to lay me eyes on them. Can't wait to take them back to the Empire. The job's done. Now we settle up. Absolutely. You've earned it. This is great news. These turrets are the future of Imperial anti-personnel weaponry, and Lord Grathen wanted to keep them all to himself. And we showed him. Can't wait to try these out on some Republic scum. Good work. Pleasure doing business. I heard there was action in Grathen's place. Not many people make it in and out like that. But I'm not seeing my men. Tell me what you found in there. Grothen was experimenting on them. Converting them into machines. Machines? Right. I'd heard rumors about Grothen's repulsive methods, and I have a strong stomach, but... I feel a little sick right now. I was hoping they'd be okay. What an idiot I am. They didn't suffer. I made sure of that. It was the least I could do. Is that right? I... Well, I actually appreciate that. Guess it had to be done. You got the information I wanted, so you earned your pay. Take it. Those kids won't miss a few credits. Now I've got to send word to their families and return their belongings. Then it'll be time to recruit some fresh faces. I wish you luck. Thanks. I'll need it. <laughs> Level 26. Got some more galactic season rewards. Actually got a bit of mail. Oh! There you go. Do 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 do. That indentured scientist has come through with our deal. And we earn some more credits. Delightful. Right. Now. Do, do, do. Over to the Ravenite compound. Enjoy your stay. So you finished the pilgrimage. Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the inner circle approves of your initiation. 
I'm only interested in meeting the master. You're on your way. Take pride in that. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. If that's right, I have no more need for you. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the master. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. I always thought it would be a good tr twist if Dazun here was the master. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one. But you've met the challenge and showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. Is this where I speak to the Master? Yes, you've earned your audience. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order. At last, the respect I deserve. You may go to the Master in his chamber. He will be waiting for you. Listen to him, obey him. Through the Master, you will know the path of Revan. Ooh, our first implant. I think. No, no, we had already. Hmm. Oh, we probably got an implant from one of those lock boxes and it auto equipped. Hmm. Yeah, because the relics auto equipped when I open them from doing the heroics on Hotter. You who have died and been reborn, stand before me now. You who have reclaimed the ancient past, stand before me now. You who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers, look upon the master of the Order of Revan. What's all this about? I don't understand. This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadows. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. Glad to finally see the real deal. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. Why did you found the Order in the first place? I stumbled upon the mysteries of Revan on Korriban when I became Sith. That started me down a terrible path. Revan came to Drummond Cass after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. You really think Revan replaced the Emperor? I do. It's the only way the puzzle pieces fit. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. They want to silence you because they think you're heretics. They do. But listing their many reasons for destroying us is pointless. I would ask for your help. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revanite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. I'm not sure he'd pay me for that. The reward for following the path of Revan is far greater. I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Revanites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. Somehow I'm not terribly disappointed. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. 
<laughs> you do know I'm going to stab you in the back, right? Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Now, if you somehow had maybe some tangible proof that Revan had overthrew the Sith Emperor, that the Revanites were somehow serving Revan, I might be willing to listen, but... <sighs> I feel like it's more the blind leading the blind here. Again, this is all Sith politics. Nothing to do with me, really. Ah, the problem solver returns from the Revanite heretics. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? She's a Sith Lord, dark-skinned, with black hair and tattoos. I know her. I know her, yes! Tari Darkspanner. My master knows her. We will use her. The Dark Council will strip her of her power, her mind, and her life. Seems right to me. I promised you a reward in the name of Darth Charnas. So you shall have it. You have served the Empire well. Thanks to you, we have the means to obliterate this society of heretics. The name of Revan will be spoken on Drummond Cast no more. I've taken worse jabs. Leave me now. It is time to put Darth Charnas's plans into action. Okay. Not a major fan of that headgear. Is that the headgear that... Yeah, the same headgear that one of the bounty hunters was wearing during the meeting with the hunt master. I mean, we'll keep it. Oh, come on, close the inventory. Thank you. Destination? And... Do, 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 do. Uh, we'll go here, just to the central taxi. Enjoy your stay. Just so we can turn in the relics we acquired. Ah, normally I'm so used to going to Imperial Intelligence or the Sith Sanctum, but we actually need to go see the Admiral as well to uh, <laughs> report the success of our bounty target. Yeah, so used to going straight to the Citadel once you've completed your main objective. over the artifacts. Thank you. Oh. Oh, in level 25, I, as I say, looks like our class trainer actually has a new ability for us. But I think it's a uh, speeder piloting. I think at level 25 and I think maybe level 40, maybe level 50, you have different tiers. Old timer like me got a lot of tricks for sale. Yep. Come back, you might learn something. The second rank of speed of piloting. speeders go a little bit faster and I think there's a lower chance we can get shot off our speeder as well.
Reports of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... She's as dead as it gets. Yes. Just as you say. Here, take your credits and go. You'll understand if I say I never want to see the face of my daughter's murderer again. You may not want to go looking at any mirrors for a while. Just go. Come on. He needs to be alone with what he's done. Please. Just go. I need to be alone with my thoughts. And we get outside and probably hear a gunshot. Let's get ourselves over to the Mandalorian Enclave. Two bounties down. One more to go. Hopefully, uh, Krista Markon has some more information about how our fellow competition are uh, doing. See if the numbers have thinned out any further. Destination? Second bounty is done. Just one more, and I'm in the melee. Right you are. And competition is heating up. That little green girl, Iopian Rattle, finished all her bounties. Heard she poisoned an Imperial Moth. Lucky we didn't get that one. Not sure how we'd work it out. Now, I ain't allowed details on whatever you were scrapping for Admiral Fabal. But I got a clearance note says it was duly scrapped. Nice payday, too. Professionals don't talk about their clients. I hear you. Less I know, the better. Here we go. Bounty three. I call it, someone's got a serious hate for my hunter. Top secret, crazy, red flag covered. This one's for a Captain Metal in Imperial Intelligence. No other information. What exactly is Imperial Intelligence? Spook arm of the Empire. Secrets, lies, and things that don't need asking about. Watch yourself with those people. Stay careful. Get this one done, and don't get yourself dead in the process. Okay. Sounds fairly straightforward. Okay, plenty of things to sell. We'll take a break just outside of the Mandalorian Enclave, and when we come back in the next part, we will be, uh... Heading over to the far side of the Citadel to meet with our next contact. See who our target is. Do you require medical attention? Be well. Indeed. Okay. So. We shall take a break here. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.